the Dr. Hiranaka in Japan. Uh, today, I'll talk about Oxford UK uh, from the basics of this uh, uh, very good operation. Uh, first of all, I want to talk, uh, inform you the concept of UK. The concept of UKA is just re to restore pre disease condition. Uh, using this metal and polyethylene component uh, resurface, the uh, arthritis, articular surface, and restore uh, the pre disease condition, normal condition. So uh, this operation is through resurfacing operation and uh, it is done intra-articularly, completely and in, uh, intra-articularly. <laughs> so the purpose of this uh, operation is just restore the pre-arthritis condition, including alignment. If the patient has a constitutional native bilateral alignment, after the operation, uh, the leg alignment uh, will be restored as the, the patient's native alignment. So uh, if the patient has the single side osteoarthritis and the opposite side has the normal knee, after the Oxford knee operation, the operated knee alignment uh, can be similar to the opposite healthy leg alignment. So. Uh, this is very, very important points. Uh, also, the never aim to the neutral alignment. The neutral alignment uh, means the straight leg, uh, the hip center, knee center, and ankle center uh, uh, align in the same line. Uh, <laughs> this is our data. So, uh, uh, evaluated the pre and post operative HKA, hip, knee, ankle, angle. If uh, this angle is zero degree, it means the leg is completely straight. Uh, but before the Oxford knee, uh, distribution is shifted uh, to be bayless. But after the Oxford UK, uh, leg alignment is still various alignments. So uh, in average of around four degrees. So that means most Japanese patient has constitutional various alignment. So uh, we need to accept constitutional various. So the aim of this operation is just restore the tension and length of the MCL. If we restore uh, the MCL normal situation, the post-operative leg alignment uh, can be uh, restored as the patient native alignment. If the patient has the native various alignment, the post-operative uh, leg alignment come to uh, slightly various. Of course, the patient has uh, the native neutral alignment, the leg alignment come to uh, neutral after operation. Uh, if uh, we restore uh, the MCL situation, the leg alignment uh, will be the patient native alignment. So because uh, it's the tight uh, relationship between soft tissue situation and leg alignment. So, uh, unlike to total knee, uh, never release MCL to uh, restore uh, the leg alignment to be neutral. So uh, in the UK, never release UK. So in the TKA, aim 
the neutral alignment is a mean the zero degrees HK and the 19 degrees and the component alignment that means mechanical alignment. Oh, so uh, in the TKA, the okay. neutral mechanical alignment is the target for the UK. Uh, but unlike the UKA, TKA, uh, we need to uh, accept the patient native alignment. Uh, this is a very famous uh, paper from Belemans, the even in the Western patient uh, that is considered to be uh, to have uh, the straight leg. But even in the Western people, the average HK is 1.3 degrees in Vegas. And uh, we will define the more than three degrees is native balance to be the constitutional balance, uh, 32% of male patients and 17% of female patients have uh, constitutional surveillance. So it is more frequent than we think. So maybe is the percentage should be higher in the Asian patient in Japan, uh, of course in India and Vietnam. So unlike uh, the, but on the other hand, the TK is a reconstructive surgery, in the no uh in the OAE, lateral side is disrupted, medial side is contracted. So MC release is necessary. So as a result, joint line can elevate. So uh the situation after TK uh, will be changed. Uh, after the TK, but now recent kinematic alignment theory, uh, this concept is completely different. I will show you later operation. Okay, uh, this is the end of my talk. Uh, 